However, today we are going to study about the structure and functions of animal and plant cells. Very simple, we have studied the organizational levels. Organizational levels start from atoms. We studied about atoms and molecules in our chemical basis of life. We studied about carbohydrate, nucleic acid, protein, lipid, everything. Today we are going to study when molecules come together, they make microorganisms or organelles. These organelles combine, combine to make a cell. So simply, we are going to study about cell. Cell is the structural and functional unit of a living body. So who invented, who identified the cell first? The person called Robert Hooke, this person is the first person to identify, identify a cell. He is basically an optician. He introduced the microscope. This is the microscope what he used to, used to observe plant cell. So what he did is, he wanted to observe what is a wood made of. He selected a piece of coke and he identified, he observed under microscope. He was able to identify something, a beehive structure something. So he named it as a cell. So the person who in named cell as cell is Robert Hooke. And the student of Robert Hooke called Anton von Leeuwenhoek followed the same methodology, followed the same microscope and identified, observed first living cell. The first living cell, what he, uh, what he was observed is a euglena cell. Euglena is a protista, we will study later. Also, the followers of these people, these scientists, Swan, Glyden, Swan, Shielden and Virgil revealed the cell concept. Swan said that every animal cell, animal body is made of cell. Shielden said that every plant is made of cell. So simply Virgil said that, Virgil said a different thing, that every new cell is derived from pre-existing cells. By combining these three, the cell concept was revealed. The cell concept consists of three major points. The very first point, the structural and functional unit of life is the cell. So, if a cell, oh sorry, all organisms, second one, all organisms are made up of one or more cells. And the third one, new cells are formed by pre-existing cells. Here, next we are going to study about the animal and plant cells. We will describe the typical differences between animal and plant cells.